Today we're going to take a look at how to create an eye model in your control project using the iTwin synchronizer. First we're going to want to go to administration, eye model importer, and from here we're going to want to create a brand new eye model. So we'll select the new button, give our eye model a name. You can put a description if you want, but once you have all the information entered, Select create. As you can see here, we have a new eye model created. Now we're going to want to open up our iTwin synchronizer. Once your synchronizer is open, we'll go to our drop down and select the project that we want to create an eye model, then hit new connection. Next, you'll give your connection a name. And then from the drop down under map to, we will select the model we want to map to. After we have that complete, we will browse to the folders that we have our model saved in. So once you select the folder, hit select folder. Now we'll select the files within that folder by hitting the little green plus button. If you have multiple models or files that you want to load, is simply select all of them and hit select. Now we're going to want to geographically tag the model that we want to use. It will automatically select the top file for this uh, option. If that's not correct, you can scroll down, find the model that you want to be your geographical uh, pinpoint and select that and hit next. Now it's going to check the connections. This may take a few minutes to do. You may want to pause the video now while the eye model connectors are being defined. Once your connections are created, select save. And now it'll bring us to our connection screen. Next thing we'll want to do is hit synchronize and then create a named version. So we'll give our name version a name. This will allow the eye model to be created once the synchronization is complete. Next we'll hit synchronize. Again this may take a few minutes to load so feel free to pause the video here. Once the synchronization is complete select go to eye model and it'll bring us to our eye model page where we already have a name version create it so we will view our eye model once the eye model loads you can check it out make sure everything looks okay once we verify that the eye model looks good we're going to want to go back to our control project and go to our administration eye model importer as you can see our eye model has been created so now to look at our eye model simply click on the eye model icon and it will bring us to the eye model we can take a quick look make sure everything looks all right in here as well and now we can start taking our tasks documents inspections and different issues to our model if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.